Hi everyone, this is a update uh, for today of the uh, coil and uh, what I've done is I've removed it from the uh, wood uh, support that it was on which was for the experiments of the uh, gobo uh, test that I was doing which is a was an attempt replication of the orbo anyways uh, I've got it now mounted on this clear uh, piece of uh, acrylic here and I also have some small acrylic spacers there for the magnet and I've uh, soldered a connection here from my negative from the switch side uh, directly to the board and there's just now a clip for my positive from my uh, feed bank and my negative is going here to the negative rail <clears throat> and what I decide to do in this uh, video is to uh, try to determine the current that is going to the uh, switching side of the MOSFET to see how much current is uh, possibly uh, leaking from the switching side to the pulsing side and this is my attempt uh, my idea of trying to do this and what I came up with is adding a uh, carbon resistor which is a 100 ohm resistor these uh, band colors here might look red to you but they are actually a brown and that's black brown meaning that's a 100 ohm resistor you can tell this red here is a lot redder than those uh, I guarantee you that's a 100 ohm resistor and this red wire here is our uh, hot side of the signal generator that's coming through this probe which this probe also has a built-in attenuator as well I believe so uh, the current that's coming through there is very small um, our ground is at this point here where all our probes uh, connect this probe here is measuring directly the pulse of the signal generator and this other probe here is measuring across the uh, 100 ohm resistor and that's about all I can show you for the switch side uh, I've removed my 100 ohm, my 1 ohm resistor here, just connected directly to it. Uh, don't need to, to scope that. So right now the uh, batteries are connected. We're at 16.61 uh, volts right there, or 6.2 if you want. And the circuit is operating, but at this time is not utilizing any current. Uh, you have to trust uh, that I am uh, truly honest here and I am the circuit is operating and there is the uh, voltage measured across the precision resistor here on my cap bank and it's also indicating there is no current being used so I'm starting to even go a little bit in negative side so now if I uh, let's look at the uh, scope shot here on the uh, there's my pulses here of coming out of my signal generator on the probe that's pulsing it and this here is what is measured the energy across the 100 ohm resistor so I will post these uh, scope shots uh, at the uh, forum topics and there are three forum topics and now the schematic is also posted there and uh, if you look at next to this video there's a description box and I always have the links there to three different forum topics and uh, you can get all the details there about these uh, experiments now if we look at our data the coil is resonating at 33.33 uh, kilohertz and that's our voltage uh, there uh, that's going right now to the um, uh, MOSFET uh, gate 10.94 volts and that is our voltage uh, across the 100 ohm resistor 4.25 4.28 maybe at the most and uh, 437.5 millivolts RMS measured which is the surface area measured here of the uh, uh, voltage across there which transfers into the amount of current that's being used so if we look closely here we see this bump which is, you know, that is current being used there. That's the switch on side and then the amount of current that's being used at the probe. So the idea here is to show two different things. One of the things is how does one um, uh, tweak the uh, coil to get it to go to negative 
and I'll show you uh, right now if I change my setting here on my signal generator now you start seeing there is current being used because now there is voltage being measured across okay see how quickly it goes up that's just changing the signal generator so now I'll go back to the area if preferred uh, to it not having any current if I can find that hopefully quickly without losing too much time here time is very limited with these YouTube videos so I'm trying to uh, do this it's very very sensitive so that's giving you an idea of how sensitive uh, this truly is to find the right uh, spot for it to go into resonance and utilize hardly any current I'm doing little micro adjustments here to find that uh, sweet spot and as you see constantly the uh, current is going down now the other very important thing is for the ability to be able to adjust the uh, voltage that you're sending to that MOSFET gate okay so we are using still a little bit and I'd have to use my micro adjustment here to tweak it down you know to which which way which side it is I don't know which side it is but that doesn't really matter what I'd like to show you now okay obviously there's our voltage 16.5 our battery is connected what I want to show you now is the importance to be able to adjust the uh, voltage that you're sending to the gate okay so right now what I'll do is I'll just reduce that a little bit I'm just turning that micro amounts you can, you can hardly even see my finger turning it look what's happening now the current's gone completely and now actually the current's going into negative okay so that's what you need to do and that's the very important part so now I'm continuing to do, do that okay until I get the best setting now it's going back the other way it's starting to go up again so right there was about my best setting okay so now we've got minus 18 okay now the other thing you can do is retune the frequency look what happens now we've got minus 31 32 okay so that's that was our best there minus 32 whatever okay again it's very very sensitive on the frequency okay I can't stress that any more than that see I have already lost it now <laughs> so this is what's very important okay to do to get you know that optimum setting okay so now it's back so then when you get that you can still play with the uh, energy here you're sending back okay see look I'm still able to drop that more we're down to minus 41 43 44 46 48 49 50 look at that so you find your ideal settings there okay and then you can tweak I can use my micro adjustment and uh, I get more more control that way so obviously I've done this before I know that I can get up to minus uh, 60 there uh, 61 there it is so um, the circuit is still definitely operating okay and I guarantee you that you have to trust me on that and what I can do now is I can pull that alligator clip and we should see that battery volt or that capacitor voltage now starting to rise because obviously it's sending back you know energy so as you can see this thing is rising uh, quite fast now and that's two three thousand nine hundred uh, microfarad capacitors in parallel so and it's obviously charging them very quickly now now let's look at the uh, scope if we look now gotta shut that light our bump is like flattened our current we're using less current so that should reflect in the data and if you remember our voltage was much higher and we we're at uh, 4.25 volts here and we're at 2.91 now okay and we were at 281 we're at 281 now previously we we're at 437 so it makes no sense that 
we're if we are sending energy back through the gate which is still possible I'm not disputing that but it's hard to see it because now we're sending less energy and yet we're getting more energy back on the other end that's uh, interesting I think should be considered and uh, thank you for watching bye now